professional home economist, author, and Second City alum, Marilyn Smith. Marilyn will be sharing delicious recipes layered with health from her cookbook, Healthy Starts Here. Today's recipe is triple oat cookies. A lot of people think when you eat healthy that there's no room for cookies. <clears throat> You're wrong, there's always room for cookies in a healthy diet, especially if they're out of my book, Healthy Starts Here. And to prove my point, today I'm going to make a heart healthy oat cookie. It's called a triple oat cookie because I'm so creative with names. Okay, the first ingredient in my heart healthy cookie is canola oil. Why canola oil? Well, most cookies call for butter and they're really, really high. That's really, really high in saturated fat. And canola oil, of all the fats out there, has the least amount of saturated fats. And so this is really good for our heart. And now, the trick when you're using canola oil in a cookie is you have to make sure that you really, really measure it accurately. As a matter of fact, in all baking, it's more like a science, so you can't just throw things into the bowl and hope for the best. You can do that kind of in savory, but not in baking. So here's the big trick. Measure canola oil in a glass measuring cup, and you have to eyeball it. And so I'm going to go way down here, and I'm going to eyeball it so that the bottom of the, it's called the meniscus, is hitting the edge of half. So I know that I've got a completely right half cup measure because I eyeballed it. If I measured it from up here, I have way too much. If I measured it just by dumping it in, I want to make sure it's exactly a half a cup. So here goes my half cup of heart healthy canola oil. Now to that, I'm going to be adding some dark brown sugar, which is important because I want to add as much flavor as I can. And here's some dark brown. And then I'm going to be adding a little bit of white sugar as well. Now you can get these recipes on the site or on my website. Okay, and then I've got a little bit of gossip. Uh, so, so this uh, guy, he's... And that's why he shot him. Anyway, okay, so now after you've got it looking kind of like this, it doesn't look like what you'd normally bake. You know, it looks weird, right? We're going to add an omega-3 egg. So we're gonna crack that egg in there. And this is going to, oh, I got a bit of uh, shell in there. Here's a trick, if you get shell in, you use an edge of, a other, of the whole shell and you just drag it up that way. And then we're adding pure vanilla. If it hasn't died to get into a, a bottle of vanilla, a real vanilla bean, then it's not pure, don't use it. It's, it's awful. So I'm just gonna use uh, pure vanilla and we're gonna whip this up some more. This is what the, the batter is sort of going to look like now. Now we're going to let that rest and we're going to use the dry ingredients. Okay, so for the dry ingredients, I'm having three different forms of oats. Okay, so I'm using steel cut oats and then we're using oat flakes. And then the last one is oat bran. And that's the part that's got the most potent ability to reduce cholesterol, but they all do. So I've got steel cut oats, going to make them really crunchy. And then some uh, the uh, large flake and then the oat bran. So this cookie can actually reduce your cholesterol. Very heart healthy. And then I'm adding whole wheat flour. I'm adding cinnamon, and this is actually going to help regulate your blood sugar. And then some baking soda because we need some leavener. And then you can either use a fork or a whisk to mix this all up because we want to have it not in lumps all over the place. So mix that up like that. Comme ça, bonjour, hello. I'm not really speaking French. Anyway, and then we're going to add some dates. And the idea is that you want to make sure that the every little bit of date is covered in flour. You don't want to have big chunks of dates. So this is the time where you get to take off your jewelry, not your clothes, and <laughs> get to mix this all up together with your hands because I really want to make make sure that the dates are really covered in the flour and oat mixture. Okay, so then I'm going to add this back into my uh, canola oil and sugar and egg and we're going to mix it up again. And this, you really need a strong mixer to do this baby. So, okay, so when it looks like this, this is when you have to roll up your sleeves, make sure you've washed your hands, and you're gonna get in there and be one with the dough. And I, I think this is really important to be able to play with your food. And I think a lot of us, when we're cooking, we're afraid to get in there, but you don't have to be. So you kinda meld it all together so that it's all, it's very sticky and that's normal. So don't worry about that. You're gonna make a nice big mess with your hands. I'm going to get about a tablespoon of the, the dough and roll it into a ball. And what we want to do is make 30 balls. Now I like using parchment paper because then I'm not adding any more fat to this particular recipe. 
So we're back with a cleaned up kitchen and all my balls on a cookie tray. So now you're going to flatten them. You really have to make sure you have a clean hand that's damp. I just like using a clean paper towel. So we're going to smash them down with our palm or whatever you want. Now I like to make them really skinny because I, I like a really flat crispy cookie. So I really, really, really flatten that one down. If you want more of a biscotti, uh, then you just sort of flatten it down quite not as hard, okay? So two different versions. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. And you bake them in the oven between 12 to 14 minutes. And when they're done, you put them on your cooling rack and voila, you have a heart healthy cookie with heart healthy canola oil and the benefits of the fiber, the soluble fiber from oats. And it's all Canadian and I'm loving this cookie a ton. So here's to your heart health. And a glass of milk. <laughs>